Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I am at Wayland Jennings RV Park in the town of Littlefield, Texas, which is about 30 miles northwest of Lubbock. And it's named after the musician Wayland Jennings because he was born here and raised here in Littlefield. Now the population is about 6,000, 3,600 foot elevation. And I noticed they have a very strong Verizon internet here. So let me show you around the park here. The park here allows four days for free. You can stay longer if you want for $20 a day, which I think is very reasonable. And they have a suggestion box provided for comments to make our park more comfortable. That is something I haven't seen yet <laughs> in these free RV parks. And here is the box to put your donations and suggestions. Each hookup box has two 30 amp connections and some of them have a 20 amp connection also. And the reason why there's two 30s is so the person camping here can use one and the person camping here can use one. Now spot one which I have is a little different in that there is two 30 amp outlets however there's only space for one RV. Now sometimes when I'm at a park that does not have a 50 amp hookup like this one only has 30 I can actually get 50 amps into my RV by using a little technique this is a 50 to 30 amp connection and this is a 15 amp to 30 amp connection. So I'm using both of those. One of the 30 amp connections is going into my main line there and the other 30 amp connection which I've converted to a 20 amp it goes into here which goes into one specific outlet in my kitchen. So if I need more than 30 amps at the time, then that one outlet gives me another 20 amps I can use. That prevents me from overdoing the 30 and tripping a breaker. There's also a double water connection there for space one and two. They call them spots. So one and two is pull through slip spaces and the rest of them are back in and the rest of them the length is less than space one and two so there are two rows of campsites and they have barbecue grills like that and a covered picnic table so all in all there are 10 spaces with electric and water hookups then at the back of the park there is a dumpster there and a dump station which they are also calling a pet waste disposal. Interesting. Out front by the road is their original sign and then also right here they have a memorial to Wayland Jennings and here is in the state of Texas is his shoe prints and his signature right there that's nice and just to the right and rear of the park are some sports fields. Let me show you a little of what's there. The Fannie Mae Horseshoe Court. And there are several horseshoe courts here. And they actually have the first horseshoe pitched when they built their horseshoe court. How about that? And here is a whole another set of many horseshoe courts. I'm thinking that must be a big thing here. They even have a lot of benches for the horseshoe 
spectators. Wow. And to the right of the horseshoe court is a whole nother row of hookup spaces. Wow. Nice. So that is 16 more spaces for a total of 26 hookup spaces here at the RV park. And guess what? These along this row have 30 and 50 amp outlets. How about that? 50, 30, and 20. Well, I did not know these were here when I pulled in. And behind the RV park is a softball and baseball field. And further back, there are more ball fields. And guess what? <laughs> to the right of those 50 amp hookup spaces is a whole another line of these electric hookup boxes. This is amazing. And this building over here is a community center. So I think I can pretty much guarantee that you're not going to show up here and find them all taken. <laughs> There's a big stage where maybe Waylon Jennings plays when he comes back home. Also right by the road is a veterans memorial here by the county honoring all of these veterans have their names engraved there and it shows which wars each one fought in starting off with ww1 nice memorial and ending with the war on terrorism with room for more well let's hope that's all that gets put there well now I'm gonna go show you a few things in town this is Waymore's liquor beer and wine store and the owner is a relative of Waylon Jennings and here is a bit of a memorial to Waylon. There's some of his songs. And around back of the store, it has this that says, No Ordinary Dude. <laughs> they have this side room that is like a museum. Some things under glass there and a lot of stuff on the walls. Nice. Up there in that graveyard, it's a real nice graveyard. Look at all the grass beat down around it. All this is all really nice and green, but around mm -hmm. here. People walk around it and look at it. Got some souvenirs here. I have caps, bumper stickers, shirts, and hats. Those are called platinum records? Yes. Five of them, wow. Oh, he had a bunch of them. When they had that auction, they sold a bunch of them. But those, those were donated to us by his daughter. Those were Judy's. And this one right here, it, it went platinum. It's a gold record, but it was the first one in country history, and that was what Wyden had been working toward because he, he wanted to be able to record where he wanted to and use his own band, and, and at RCA, they wouldn't let you. So he took it to RCA, and, and it went platinum. But that is gold right there, so that's right before platinum. Look at all these signatures 
on that guitar. Really nice memorabilia collection they have here. How do you like it? <laughs> Got some more things out front here in the liquor store. <laughs> oh, and look at this, an Alaska license plate. There's one more thing I want to show you here in Littlefield. Let me spin around the area here to show you the world's tallest, guess what, windmill. And here's some details about it. Has some interesting history. So let me see if I can get a different angle on it. It's actually a, I would call it a fairly small windmill, but then they put it way high on this big derrick. Well folks, hope you've enjoyed my video of Littlefield, Texas. Good day.